The Naked Cowboy is getting a big paycheck from Daytona Beach. Tonight, city commissioners approved a settlement. And it all centers around his arrest last year at Bike Week. Fox 35's Connor Hansen was in the meeting. He joins us now live. Connor, you talked to the Naked Cowboy afterwards. That's right, Ray. And tonight, Daytona Beach commissioners approving that $90,000 settlement with no questions asked and no debate. The performer afterwards telling us he thinks this is a win for free speech. You've probably seen him if you've ever visited Times Square in New York or Bike Week in Daytona Beach. That's where he was arrested last year. Officers citing the city's rule against panhandling. He's under arrest right now. The performer, Robert Burke, later sued the city for false arrest, excessive force, and property damage. Burke also challenged the constitutionality of the city's panhandling ordinance. I guess I'm elated. That's great. I mean, uh, you know, it's a strike for uh, free speech. Cowboy the Cowboys celebrating his victory with a song, talking with us over Zoom from New York City. It's freedom of speech, it's commercial speech, it's the ability to make money. You know, I mean, it, it may even vindicate people even doing less. Even after his arrest, he still plans to keep coming back. I was there this year. I marched up and down Main Street every Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, both weekends. And it was just like always, it was fine. Everybody was wonderful, respectful. It's always been that way. It was just uh, an anomaly, I would say. And we reached out to the Daytona Beach Police Department to ask them about this settlement. They told me they have no comment. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News. Connor, 